Africa, a fast-changing continent, transparency, democracy and economic reform are fast-changing the landscape of what was once known as the Lost Continent. As the developed and developing world's appetite for resources increases, access to Africa is fast becoming a race for the energy and resource-constrained economies of India and China, not to mention, of course, most of the developed world. Johannesburg Stock Exchange has a market cap of 750 billion US dollars and over the last three years it's up over 100%. I'm very excited about growth in Africa. Uh, I think it's Africa's time, it's due. Um, world economic conditions are certainly conducive. Not only is the JSC doing well, but markets like Kenya, Angola, Botswana and Tanzania also continue to perform outstandingly. So it makes perfect sense that a brand like CNBC should have first mover advantage. Dissemination of information and provision of information can only be a good thing. It's never good that people don't know what's going on either in the financial markets or in other aspects of the world. Uh, CNBC is a fantastic name. To me it's a household name in the financial markets and therefore I think it can only be very good uh, for Africa and for South Africa's financial markets. Welcome to the headquarters of CNBC Africa, launch date June the 1st, 2007. But of course the stress and nervousness of getting a whole station to air is no laughing matter. Here we are on the fourth floor, it looks like a mess, doesn't it? But there is method to all this mayhem. The launch is due and it's booked for the 1st of June. Um, we have the President actually addressing us in a question and answer session at 6.30 on the 1st of June. So we all systems go at this stage of the game. As you can see from behind, there's still a lot of work to be done, but we're making good progress. Timelines are being met, deadlines are being met, and uh, we're on en route for the 1st of June. Over the next few months and weeks, we're going to be putting in some of the best technology, some of the best systems the broadcast environment in Africa has ever seen. We can see the success of what's happening in South Africa, what's happening on the continent from a business point of view. And I think we're going to share that good news not only with us locally over here, but with our international uh, brethren as well. Getting the good word of business across, sharing great business information, and just basically giving investors, traders, businessmen, CEOs, and the general public an opportunity to see what's happening with, uh, with business in South Africa and the continent. Everyone in the financial world knows that Asia had their tiger, and the tiger has truly taken over much of the economic activity all over the world. Well, the news from the capitals of Africa is that the lion is no longer asleep tonight in Africa. And I think that's an important part. The African lion is about to awake. It takes truly gutsy people to get a renaissance on the go and on its feet. And I think that's what CNBC Africa is going to mean for broadcasting. excited because for the first time the story of Africa is going to be told from a very different perspective. It is the story of Africa being an economic hub, a vibrant space in which to do business, a place where people have minds, have thoughts, have impressions of what's happening in the rest of the world. Africa really is one of the growth areas of the world. There's huge potential in the emerging market customer base and then of course there are resources adding to the riches of so many African nations. CNBC Africa will tell the African story in a way that's smart, informed and entertaining. With the launch around the corner, it's very exciting to be part of CNBC Africa. We'll be bringing news, financial business news and an African perspective to the rest of the world from Africa. 
Africa has always painted as this continent of war and strife, and we are now beginning to make headlines for things other than that. And for me personally, it's an honor to be one of those people who's going to be telling those stories, our African stories, the way that we want to on an hourly basis as the stories unfold. As you can hear, we're all bubbling over with excitement. Perhaps it's because all those involved with CNBC Africa know that this project is set to revolutionize both the television and business environment on the African continent. So what is the big picture? CNBC Africa represents the third station my team would be involved with. I am very excited about the launch of the station as a lot of hurdles have been crossed to get to where we are. Currently, I am excited about the programming grid, the technology, the team, and most of all, the passion I see in their eyes when it comes to CNBC Africa. I am proud of our team and the brand, and of course, needless to say, our association with CNBC Europe and CNBC International. Let's move on together as we outrun the fox in the woods at an international level.